two gentlemen. We present another in the series of war air stories by that ace of all air story writers, George Bruce. George Bruce was a pioneer in flying. His stories are reflections of his own crowded life and of the lives of other American war pilots. They are published exclusively in Aces Magazine, which, incidentally, has the largest newsstand sale of any magazine devoted to flying stories. It is a late summer morning of the year 1917, the Midwestern town of Empire. In the austere pulpit of the First Disciple Church, the Reverend Dr. Hall is concluding the morning service. But there is no dispensation made in the commandments Thou shalt not kill, not even for soldiers who fight for their country. All war is murder. The day America declared war, I said to my son, Promise me you will not be stampeded by this ghastly hysteria which plunges our nation into murder. Promise me you will never touch a rifle. He gave me that promise, and so I am proud of my son. Rather would I see him lifeless at my feet than to have him mock the Christian ideals with which he has been reared. And now, let us join in song. Daughter Shirley. Good morning, Father. Well, Alice, you think my sermon today a strong one? Well, Father, I've got something to say to you. I think I better tell you right away. Why, of course, of course. I, I don't quite know how to tell you. You see, I've always tried to do the right thing, Father. Tried to obey your wishes. And when I gave you my word, I wouldn't. Don't, don't say any more. I know what you're going to tell me. The town's been talking again. Well, they called you slacker and yellow and all the rest of it. And so the sinners have always plagued the righteous. But you've made your promise, and I know you'll hold to it. Listen, Father, the town has been talking. Now, I don't care for myself, but I can't forget Shirley. You know what her brother Dick called me when he enlisted that morning and I didn't? Oh, well, the town's taken it up. They say that I married Shirley three days before the war was declared to escape enlistment. They say I'm hiding behind Shirley's skirts and my minister's coat. They say Shirley and I... Shirley... You can't care what this sinful, blood-mad town is saying? Yes, Father. I do care. Oh, can't you see what it means to him? His friends are gone. The, the people in the parish are sneering. Oh. No, no, please, don't be angry, Father. I'm Archie's wife. I love him more than I can say. And my heart will break if he has to go to war and leave me. But even so... Hello, sis. Where? Dick, well, you're here. Just dropped in on the train on Texas. Went from Kelly Field, sir. I'm a lieutenant. You get it? Lieutenant Dick Landis. Got my pilot's license, and I'm on my way to France. Oh, Dick, off of France. Great, isn't it? They sure give you the work in the Air Force. We'll wallop hell out of the Germans now. Well, Doc Hall, I suppose you're still preaching those milk-stop sermons of yours. The Deacon don't seem to be wearing a uniform yet, either. What's the matter, Deacon? Scared? You're drunk, young man. Drunk with liquor and the lust to kill. No, no, wait a minute, Father. Dick, this isn't a very pleasant way to say goodbye. But I do want to wish you luck, and... No, I won't shake hands. Not with no traitor and slacker, I won't. You think I'm going to grab the pound of a guy who insults my own sister by hiding behind her skirts, marrying her so he won't get... What do you mean? Oh, Dick! You no, talk... No, you can't talk to me like this, Landis. No, no, Even if you are my brother, no, Take no, that. No, Hit me, will you? Hold that. How do you like that? that? Fighting immediately. <laughs> what? What's left for me? Fighting in the church. What? <laughs> oh, I'm ashamed of you. Dick Landis, leave at once. Yeah, I'm glad to go. Girl, I told you never to marry this minister punk. Goodbye, slacker. Well... They won't be able to say those cruel things about you now that you're a soldier. Now that he's a soldier? What does this mean? I want to tell you before, Father. I'm going. Shirley, this is your work. You got him to do this. You wanted him to go. No. No, I love Arch. I can't bear to have him go. But I can't have him called a coward. And I won't stand in his way. Why, why he could have gained exemption because of me. But I told him to go. Make a murderer of my son? No. He won't go. He will not. He dare not break his promise to his father. I haven't broken any promises to you, sir. I promised you I wouldn't enlist. Well, I didn't. I was drafted. I promised you I wouldn't touch a rifle. And I'm not going to. I'm going into the air service.
the Scotland man how you handle that span. Wow. Say you brought down them four fuckers like you've been an ace all your days. Oh. We've needed you in this outfit for months, boy. And Gunther's been driving us haywire. You go up there scouting like a veteran and chase the Dutchman all to the devil. Where'd you learn to fly? Oh, don't ask me. I, I was scared stiff, Cassidy. I didn't see those fuckers till they were right on top of me. Go on, you got eyes in the back of your scalp. Listen, man. I've been out here since the show began. And you're the greatest natural airman i ever seen. Four Germans, first crack out of the box. Say, you're the best man in the outfit, hands down. Oh, thanks, Cassidy. But it was just luck. Just plain luck. You can tell that to a grease ball. Well, you're a queer ticket at that. You don't drink or go out with the boys or anything. But you sure can fly. Well, if I can, it's just luck, I guess. I was scared stiff, honest. <laughs> I bet one got the spit to me tied. Say, listen, man. What was you before you joined this outfit? What did you do? What's your job, eh? Well, you're going to be surprised, Cassidy. I'm a minister. The boys in my town used to call me Deacon. Well, lay me out in lavender. <laughs> a sky pilot, huh? I guess so. Well, wait till the gang hears of this. Say, I got your name, buddy. Boy, put her there and shake her. Oh, sure. So you're the Deacon. Well, can you tie that? The lad's a Deacon. <laughs> hey, hey, gang. Hey, come over here and meet this here ace of ours. Come on over and meet the Deacon. The deacon from hell. <laughs> the German is the father of Brown Polly The German is the father of Brown Polly The German is the father of Boys, meeting comes to order. Lay down, you groundhogs. <laughs> now listen, boys. Intelligence orders have come through that Von Gunther's going to raid our railway base at War Chaperone at dawn tomorrow. And the first crack out of the box, our new outfit put the assignment to stop that raid and get Von Gunther at dawn. Well, It's a devil of a job. There are some new replacements coming in tonight, but we'll be up against big odds. It'll take a good man to lead a flight against Von Gunther. It'll take the best man we've got. A man with guts. And a guy who knows how to fight. And I'm going to hand the honor to the boy who deserves every inch of it. He's only been with us two days, but what he's done in those two days is plenty. And I'm going to pick this boy to lead you. Gentlemen, the honor goes to the deacon from hell. Stand up, deacon! Thanks, fellas. Thanks, Captain Cassidy. All right. But I... Well, I... I don't know what to say quite. I... Believe me, I'd like nothing better than to go up there and get this German ace. But... Man, you're going to get him. You're going to lead these boys like a whirlwind and stop that raid. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. Special letter for Lieutenant Archvall. Oh, well, that's fine, thanks. Say, excuse me a minute, will you, boys? I sure, you're right. Yeah? Off the ship. Replace him, sir. Well, come on in, boys. Join the gang. And you're just in time to get in on the big scrap. They're going up and stop on Gunther at dawn tomorrow. Just lining up the flight. That guy over there with his nose in that letter will be your leader. That guy over there? You made him flight leader? Oh, say, you seem to know him. Do I know him? Why, that bird is in my hometown. This old man's a pacifist preacher. He didn't even enlist. Got drafted, see? Do I know him? Say, he married my own sister so he wouldn't have to go to war. Hey, Dickon. You hear what this replacement's telling us about you? Yeah, Deacon, I'm telling your outfit how yellow you are. By God, Deacon. Take your face out of that letter and punch this greaseball a crack on the nose. Well, I must... Uh, throw down that letter, Deacon. Show this bird what you can do. Hey! Hey, I'm sorry, fellas. This man's my brother-in-law. and Tell him how yellow you are, Deacon. Hey, are you going to take this guff from this kiwi, Deacon? Knock him for a loop. You're a slight leader. I'm sorry, Captain Cassidy. Sorry? What the devil do you mean, sorry? I'm not going to leave the flight tomorrow. What? I'm not going to fly tomorrow. I can't. Oh, he's here. What the devil's the matter with him? Ray, look, Ray! Look at that searchlight. Look, Get out of that field, you big 
folks. Get up there and bring down that baron. Got a crate for me, Skipper. I'll show you a bunch of real war. I'll get that German hoodoo of yours. Where's it? Go on! Put one over us. There he is up there, Deacon. Hey, God, what a surprise you pulled on me. Stand there and let the boys know you're a coward. Get the hell out there in your crate. You want to fight? Get out there and fight! Oh, God, I can't. I can't fight. Not now. Well, I've seen some lousy ones go stay in my day. But never one like you. Look at that flamer come down. Where's your guts, you punk? Stop shivering. Get up there. Oh, God, please. Take your hands off me. I can't fly, I tell you. I won't fly. God, if, if I was killed yeah. now... Uh, <laughs> no, no. I can't die, I tell you. I mustn't. Not now. Oh, God. God, there's another one down in front of your own gang dying okay. and you stand there blubbering like a pathetic. Look at this up there. An angry, come here, see. And you're all blubbering. I know, I know. Look at this up there. We're gonna get him. What? Look, see Jerry's fighting his tail. What? Don't let him get you, Jerry. Hey, get the rest of this. They're both going from the ship. Got away, Cassidy. Give me that helmet. By heaven, they can't bring down. Stop them. I'll kill them all for this. I'll kill them all for this. Oh, what a climb! There he goes! He'll save that lad yet! Go on, Deacon! Get him! Get that guy with the lion on his face! Atta boy! Jerry's against him now! He got one of them! Go on, Deacon! Go on! Oh, what a load! He's up on Gunther's head! He's right in the middle of him! Six Jerry's against him! Go on, Deacon! You got the two of them! Get the Baron! God, they must be tearing a ship apart with lead! He's got him! He's He was killing Dick. Killing my wife's brother. You got him, old man. You got Von Gunther and three of his men. Knocked that surprise raid into a cut hat. Well, Dick. How about Dick? I'm okay, Deacon. Oh. Plane came out of a spin just as I thought I was done, and I tacked it to the tree before she took fire. You you sure saved my life for me, Deacon. Oh, Dick. I, I'm sorry about everything I said. Oh, thank God, Dick. You know, you know, if one of us had died, it would have killed her. Her? What do you mean? My wife, Captain. You see that letter I got tonight? She never told me when I went away. She's in the hospital. And she must have known it all the time. Don't you see? If I had died, it would have killed her. Listen, Deacon. Listen. I got word from home yesterday. Shirley's all right, Deacon. She's doing fine. It's a boy. The dramatized story by George Bruce you have just heard was taken from ACES, the pioneer air story magazine. Your news dealer has George Bruce's latest story featured in the current issue of ACES. <laughs>